Hey you guys, this is D Squad S Tabor coming to you with my very first vlog. Just wanted to come on here and say happy Sunday and running a few errands with my mini me. Hello. And what we got planned for today is we just got through dropping off my husband's truck to NTB to have his rims taken off. So we're just putting on his regular shoes again on the truck. Um, that was my weekend. I did mine yesterday, so I'm doing his today. And then we're going to run to Sephora and go some makeup hunting, which is always fun. And then we're going to go to Macy's and pick up a, another handbag reveal that's coming. So when we get to Macy's and Sephora, and then we also might go by Alta too. So when we get to those locations, we'll come back in and take you along with us. So until then. Hey you guys, this is Dee. So we just made it to Macy's. So we're going to go inside of Macy's and once we get inside of there, I will turn you back on. Okay you guys, so we're inside of Macy's. We were supposed to be going to the handbag department so that I could pick up the handbag that I have um, bought. But we stopped over here in the shoe department and let me tell you, with friends and family, they do have a sale. So currently, I was really, really wanting some burgundy shoes in this here, in these boots. Okay, but they don't have the burgundy ones, and I tried on those, and these are the results of how they look on me. Oh my God, they originally is $89 online. I just looked it up, and it's $79, and then with the 30% off friends and family, comes to like 52 something so I might not be able to pass that up I'm gonna have to work that out and my mini me she is currently trying on these they, them. they come to the them. knees they're comfortable nice and suede I love them they're cute I might not be able to pass these up either <laughs> this cute. was something that was totally not in our plan we was just supposed to come get what we was gonna get in and out but that's not how it always go so i'll come back to you and let you know the results of what we ended up doing in the shoe department have a good one okay you guys so we're still here at macy's and we're now in the handbag department So we're currently waiting for my pickup. Oh, and here we go. Okay. There you go. All right. Thank you. So I need to make sure I have a dust bag and all before I leave. So I'll get back with you. Okay, you guys. So we just left Macy's. Mini me. Yes. We just left Macy's. So now we're going to go down to Sephora since they're right next to each other and see what we find in there hopefully we don't find anything because we did enough damage already that was not <laughs> suspected or expected but that so i will let y'all know when we get inside of sephora all right okay you guys so we are in sephora now and we're going to look at some um what was it called toothpaste product and currently as you can see she's already on top of it She's already on top of it. So I'm going to find the Too Faced. And I hope I don't have this camera too far up in my face. Because I've never really done this before. Especially vlogging in the actual store. I really haven't done it. So. What was that one? Um, gold. Golden Dawn. Golden Dawn. Uh, and these, uh, these, these two. These and that's what you put on? Yep. Let me see. Oh, I can tell it's yep. right there. Mm -hmm. And let me see the other side. And that one. This one is lighter is than it? that mm -hmm. other one. Probably because I used this one on one and I used one on the other. I wanted to look at the Too Faced. I mean, it's cute. I like it. Uh huh. It matches what you got on. Okay, I'm currently looking for the Too Faced. This is Marc Jacobs products. Have you found the um, 
Two Face. The Two Face products. Uh huh. I found the Marc Jacobs. Is that what you're looking for, Two Face? Uh, yeah. They change everything around. Asked her. Hi, where's your Two Face? Um, okay, last time it was back here. So, okay. Thank you. See, they moved it around. I think this is the one I. This one? I, you have, I got this one, ain't it? It's this one. Yeah, you had that one. That I currently have. I really been trying to see if I can find a cute color in these oh, yeah, down those here cute. that I like. I used to get these. I those are, those, those are, are matte. That's the liquid. Yeah. This so is the, the, oh, I'm sorry. So this is gonna be more like. A, yeah, this is the one I try. I want. It dries wanna, though. When it dries, it dries up like a matte. Mm-hmm. It's liquid, but it dries up like a matte. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to try. I like the bottle too. That's what really draws me to it. And I currently need some Hello. NARS um, concealer because I'm totally out. Let's see. In my concealer, I normally do the Amanda, I think it is. Oh, we're up here. Okay. I normally do this one here, which is my color that I like. And it's 29. And we said we were going to go to Alta. And Alta don't carry NARS. So we will see if I find a different complexion. Um, oh, they have this one here. This is pretty. These palettes. Yeah, uh huh. Especially this one. I like this one. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So I don't want to make this video too long, and we still have other places to go. So I will come back to y'all at the next store. Thank you. Hey, you guys. This is Dee Spoiled as Tabor coming to you with the remaining part of our vlog of what we bought from Macy's, Ulta, and. TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. Um, well, what I got from TJ Maxx was a gift for my husband for his birthday. And I had said that I was going to reveal it on this um, next video because I didn't want to reveal it on his birthday one that I did because he watches my videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what we bought from Macy. So I'll reveal what I bought and then I'll let her reveal what she bought. And then we'll do our Alta. And then I'll reveal what I had bought for him for his birthday okay so the first thing that I had got from Macy's when they had their sale was the these boots here in the pre, in the video on my blog you will see a picture of me trying them on for you these are G by guest boots um, I thought they were like very sexy thought they would make great work boots so here are the boots here is the side. It has the little buckle here. On this side, it has the zipper. I thought that was really cute. And like I said, um, these were originally $89.99. They were marked down to $79.99 on the website. But when the lady rung it up, it was $69. I think it was $69.99, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, these were the boots that I had picked up. Thought they were really cute. Now, the next purchase I bought was a Michael's Course purse. And I bought this, not for me, but for my mom, for a birthday gift. Not birthday, but Christmas, Christmas gift. Christmas gift. So, I'm going to go ahead and reveal what I bought her for Christmas. And this is the dust bag. It do say Michael Kors. Okay. 
And the story behind this bag is I first originally seen this bag on Nietzsche B's video. I think it was either her Thanksgiving or her birthday where her husband Colton had surprised her with a birthday gift and bought her this birthday gift as a crossbody purse. And the thing that I thought was neat was on the front of it, it says Michael Kors. And Colton had Nitra's initials put on it. And I thought that was very cute and classy. So, But since this is not my gift, this is my mom's gift for Christmas, I'm not going to put her initials on here or mine's. Um, without further ado, the name of this bag is the Michael Kors Mercer. Um, the dimensions, here I'll let you find the bag, the dimensions. And I'm going to take all the stuffing out of it so that I can show you how big and deep it is on the inside. Okay, so in the inside, here is the first pocket right here. Okay, and then it has a zip compartment here. And also inside of the zip, it has a pocket right here where my hand is. And then on the top part here, it has a zipper, another zipper part where you can store something at. It also has a D-ring inside of that zipper compartment. This bag originally was $2.98. I don't know if you can see that. Originally $2.98 and I got it for 30% off, which made it $209, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it was $209. Um, on this side of the bag, it's another compartment. Then you have the black strap. I don't want to take the paper off since it's not mine, but it's just a black strap. You can remove the strap. You can wear crossbody, like I said, or you can wear arm strap. Now, inside, another thing on this handbag is when you put something down in here, it can come through at the bottom over here. It's not solid at the bottom. So if you put some change in here, it's going to go to the other side when you're moving around. So while I tell you the dimensions, I'll let my mini-me put Grandma's gift back together. Thing. Okay, like I said, this bag was the Mercenary. It comes in a few different colors. Um, it's the Pebble Leather Lining Polyester Import. Large size bag. Um, it's one and one fourth in width. Um, eight and a half in depth. And five, I mean width. I'm sorry, let me start off. It was 11 and 1 fourth in width, 8 and a half in height, and then 5 in depth. Okay, the interior features center pocket divider um, with lining, one zipper pocket, and one opening pocket. And that was that middle part that I showed you that opened up. Um, four and a half in length double handles. So that's how long the handles are. 22 to 25 in length adjustable strap. Okay, and that's the strap right there. And then it has an open top so it don't buckle or anything. Exterior features gold hardware, which will be the gold hardware here. And then the little charm, you can see it in my hand, which is a lock, which I thought was very cute. It's not over overpowering. And then it has big converted from a tote to a crossbody by attaching strap, which was a strap that we were talking about. I'm sorry, here's a dust bag. So that's what I purchased from Macy's for my mom for Christmas. Um, I also I also purchased her a wallet while. Tierra's telling you what she bought from Macy's. I will go and get what I the wallet, and then I will tell you a little bit about the wallet, and then we'll go to Alta from there. All right, hey guys, I'm Tierra. 
I'm just gonna show you guys what I got from Macy's. I've been dying to get these boots and um, they're just really popular right now. So a lot of girls have been wearing them. A lot of um, different stores have been selling these boots. Now these boots do come in different sizes, colors, and shapes. Now I did go ahead and, um, like I said, I purchased mine from Macy's. And the company that I got mine from, this is my first time even wearing their brand, but it is Chinese uh, Laundry. And so I shall show you the boots. All right. All right, now the style name of these boots are called Berlin. And they are knee-high boots. And they are suede, so they're nice and comfy, soft. Um, like I said, they do come to the knee. They do have a, a drawstring in the back for you to tighten them as light, um, as much as you would like to tighten them so that they do stay up. Now, I did go ahead and get the um, curvy toe just because I do have wider feet. So it does look a lot better on my feet than the point, pointy toe or the open toe. And um, I did want to have warm feet for the snow, so I did get these. Um, like I said, and they do come up to the knee, so they're just really cute. I'm glad I got them. And that's what I purchased. Okay, so here is the wallet that I purchased for my mom also for Christmas. And like I said, with the wallet and the purse, I did the pre-order where you got 30% off if you bought it then. And then you picked it up on Sunday, they gave you 30% off. So this wallet originally was 100 in eight dollars but by time I did the 30% off I believe it came to like seventy five dollars so okay so here is the inside of the wallet up here you could put a cell phone and we'll try that in a minute here I believe you could put like seven cards one two three four five six seven you have seven cards and your driver license go there. And then the little care booklet. Behind here, you can put your cash. And then it has a zipper here where you could put your change in. I don't normally put change in my wallets because I don't want to make it bulky. But I do have the iPhone 7 Plus in rose gold and when I was buying this for her I decided to see if the 7 Plus would fit over in there and just so happened it does so I thought that would be a good thing for her and as you can see here is my phone right here and it do closes up very nicely and neat but here's the thing I bought her this not knowing that she has one so I will just be returning this one and I will be letting her know that she could her phone should be able to fit over in the pocket of the phone slot and if you choose not to put your phone there I'm pretty sure you could put some receipts or something else there that might fit your need um, Let's see. So that is all that I bought at Macy's. So the next one that we went to was Alta. And I will reveal what we bought at Alta. What I bought. Did you tell them how much this one cost? Yeah. Yeah, I told them. So. <clears throat> Here is my Alta. So we went into Alta because we were both looking for some makeup things and let me just say I am new to the makeup world. I'm just now getting into it and I'm slowly learning about it. So what I went in for was some concealer and we went looking for NARS but Alta didn't carry our Alta didn't carry NARS and they were just now starting to carry them but they didn't have much of NARS. So we was trying to figure out a different brand that might get the job done. So we went with this brand called Tarte, right? Yeah, Tarte. So I picked up a few items. And the first item I picked up is the Tarte palette. It comes in this 
little box here, this purple box. And it says, throw your kindness around like confetti, which you'll understand in a minute when I open it up. And I just thought this palette was just so beautiful for all the colors that it had. It also gives you a paper showing you little examples of how to apply the colors and where the colors go for that look. And this is why it says throw the confetti around because on the palette box it has the little confetti and then the words. And then on the back it's just gold. Now I went with this palette because it was a neutral palette and it's just beautiful colors. So I'm not going to blind you but on the first part up here it's just the mirror. Okay. Now here is the palette. Pretty. Just gorgeous. Okay. Now I'm going to go over the colors with you real quick. This first one right here is called Simple Life, which is right here. Okay. The next one is called Weekend, right here, which is very pretty. I hope you can see that. And then the next one up under, on the side of that is called Party. Okay, this one here is called Happy Place, and it's almost like a rose gold shimmery. It's gorgeous. The one next to it is called Lucky Charm, which is right here. That's my favorite. <laughs> it's really pretty. And the one up under it is called Virtue, which is right here. Next to it, the next color is called Dream Team which is right here. And then the very last one, which is the darkest one, it's called Wow. Great name for it. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the palette that I picked up because it was a neutral color. And for that palette, I paid $28. So I don't think that was bad. The next thing I picked up was a Tarte um, eyeliner pencil and it says double take eyeliner so I'm not for sure what that means I thought she said that on one end it was something and on the other end it was something else so I'm not seeing that but here is the pencil eyeliner pencil and it's like a matte black and you can see it right here on my hand I wanted an eyeliner that didn't smudge or run because I'm just over the smudging and running and it just looks horrible to me. Oh, hold on. No? That's what yes. I was trying to tell you to take it off. Yep. Okay, so here we go. Here is like the, what they call it, the um, one's liquid. Wet. Yes, one's wet and then the, one, the other end is going to be just your normal everyday kind of matte um, eyeliner. So this is a liquid one. Oh, and it's very liquidy and dark if you could tell it's right there mm -hmm. yeah it's darker than the the smudge one the yeah. or not the smudge one but the matte yeah the matte one okay really cute and that eyeliner <laughs> that one costs me 24 dollars which i didn't think was bad for two in one and the very last thing i bought from tarte was a concealer and it comes in this little box here and the color is deep I don't know if you can see it but it's called deep and like I said I'm just now getting into the makeup world so I'm jumping slow very slow but here is the concealer and it comes in this pretty container and it has a gold top with the purple on it. And then the concealer is in this little bottle here. And you just turn it. Show them the spoolie. It's really big. So it does have a big spoolie. It has a big spoolie, which is right here. And the color is right there. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's right there. Once I blend it in with my complexion, it blends in very good. It matches. Um, the one thing that I will recommend 
I bought two of these. So one, this one here I hadn't even used because I wanted to save it for the video and show you. But the other one, I suggest when putting on the concealer that you moisturize your face with, you know, primer, lotion, something. Because if you just put this on, you will get like a little itchy feeling, you know, throughout the day. Like your face is itching if this is all that you have on. Um, that there costs me $24. So those were the three things. One, yeah, the three things that I bought from Tarte from Ulta. So I will try their brand out. I've heard, you know, good things about them and see how it goes from there. And I will let T share what she bought from Ulta. All right, guys. So I did get a few new things as well. Um, normally, I do stay with NARS. Um, that's the brand that I like to use. I like the color. Um, it does match me very well, as well as mixing my Fit Me with it. I do mix Fit Me with uh, Maybelline with all my um, foundations just because the Fit Me is just a really good brand and it's a market brand. So you can find Fit Me in most of your drug stores, Walmart, Target, just those everyday stores that you may pop into. And it is actually very cheap. So you don't always have to get expensive makeup and Maybelline Fit Me is very great. So I did get some new things and I am trying out a new brand as well. Um, I'm trying out Tarte too. And I did get three new items. So I've been looking for a foundation that's just a little bit more um, thicker, more of a full coverage. Um, one that doesn't give you that cakey look as much. So I did um, step out and branch out and try a new foundation. And this one is by Tarte. And the name of this is Medium Honey Tan. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I do love the decorations of their designs that they have advertised with their product. So this is the foundation I got. And this is actually very new for me. Um, normally I get the tubes that squeeze out the foundation and so this one is just going to be a little bit of a challenge to try to conserve your makeup because it doesn't have a way for you to just use what you need to use so you will have to be very careful with that. I do want to let you know that. Now this is the foundation and it is very thick if you can see. And so it does come with this little white top so that you don't have a bunch of a mess here when you are trying to use it. And I have tried it and I love it. Now I don't know if I like it better than NARS just yet because with NARS I do try a few different brands. Um, I use their um, Illuminous but I also do use their regular foundation as well. I do like this one though because like I said it is more of a thick base. So it does give me an even tone all the way across the face. Now I do recommend that if you are going to wear makeup, even if you are a beginner or you like to get a full fledged face going, um, just make sure that you do take care of your skin because it is going to help lay your makeup down smooth as well as give you that finishing look that you're looking for. Um, and it protects your face, so who doesn't like to keep their skin protected? So that was the first item I bought. I did also get their High Performance Naturals. Now, um, this is also by Tarte as well. And I was more so looking for like a banana powder to like kind of bake my face, as you say. Um, so I did go ahead and try this. They didn't have what most people use, the banana powder by Loria. I'm not sure exactly how you say it, but this is the one I got. And I have tried this one just a little bit. I'm still playing around with it, trying to get the perfect, um, figure out how to perfectly use it. And I do need to get some more brushes so that I can actually just brush this, brush this right off. So this powder is not going to be a powder that stays on your face at all. But it is just going to be, um, you can put this like under your eyes, all over the face. It really doesn't matter where you use it because it's just going to make sure that when you're, say, touching your face or hugging somebody that you're not using, your makeup's not coming off of you and onto somebody else. So this kind of helps as well. So I do recommend powdering. So that's that as well as setting spray too. And then the last item that I got was their concealer and it is by Tarte. And so the color that I have in this one is called light to medium. So I do like to go a shade lighter with my um, concealer. So I did get a lighter concealer here. 
and I do love it. Like I said, I was looking for a more full coverage and this one, um, this brand is really a thick brand and it is a more of a full coverage brand. So if you don't like to have that, I would recommend sticking with the light, um, with the more liquid foundation or concealer, but I do like this one and I like the design. It is, does still have that gold top with the purple zigzags on it. And just to kind of give you a, a look, it does come with a big spoolie. So you don't really need to use that much. It does go a long ways. I do have it on under my eyes a little bit. And I didn't go ahead, I didn't do a full look today because I wanted to give you guys just an example of what it does look like. So I do have it under my eyes as well as on the side of my face. And this is just kind of what it looks like. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is there for you. And that was the last thing that I bought. So I'm anxious to, you know, play around in this a little bit more and just see how it works. But we have heard really good views so far um, mm -hmm. about it. So we're anxious to try them out and let you guys know how it goes. Okay, so I also wanted to reveal on this video what I had bought my husband for his birthday. I couldn't do it on the previous birthday because it was before his birthday. And I know he do look at some of my videos, so I didn't want him to see. But what I did get him was this six port phone charger where he can charge six different things at the same time. Um, this did run me $19.99 at TJ Maxx. Um, he do use mostly all of them because he has two cell phones, two headphones, and his iPad. <clears throat> so he do use pretty much all of them. Um, this one here is not his. This one is mine. I decided I wanted one after I bought him one. So I decided I would save mine so that I could show you what I bought him for his birthday. Um, we just wanted to come on here and show you what we have purchased from our vlog. Our very first vlog at Macy's and Alta and all our running around. So as always, if you will subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and if you have another idea for a video that you would like for us to do then please comment down below if you would like Tiara to show a full makeup phone you know please comment she will be happy to do that absolutely <laughs> okay and I'm hoping to have another video up before Christmas if not I will have one up for sure on Christmas showing you what we <laughs> what we bought got for Christmas. Yes. So that ought to be interesting. Not that just be really me, fun. but we. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, anything else? We want to say just have a good weekend. Weekend is almost up. It's almost a work day tomorrow, but <laughs> Christmas is coming up. So get in the Christmas spirit. Mm. We will get back with you. Right. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.